Hey amigos y familias, Gabriel Rai here and on this video I'm going to be going over how I get a new chord or how I understand a new chord. Everyone does it their own way. But I would just like to share how I understand a new chord or how I go about learning a new chord. Let's string along to it. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and um, hit the bell. So first of all, we need to understand our hands. As we're first learning, we do not have that muscle memory or that, that hand manipulation where we could just, you know, think about what we're doing or not think about what we're doing and just go for it, right? See, that comes with a lot of practice, being able to move one finger alone and then whatever it is that you want. Now, my left hand is stronger because that's my fretting hand. This is the one I use over here, and it's used to that. My right hand, the other hand, sounded weird. My right hand, I don't have that much control. At least control in the way of being a lefty and having my right hand on the fretboard. If I put my pinky down, the other one follows. And as much as I try, I just can't. But that's because there's no muscle memory and there's no practice there. There's no um, repetition. So I do say the more you do it, the faster you're gonna get. But now how do you go about doing it? Well, the easiest way to think about it for me is doing one thing at a time and mastering one thing at a time. This is what I mean. Take any chord and try to place our fingers there. So take your time and see what usually lands first. Now in this case, my index finger lands first. You usually do have a lot more uh, control over your index finger. And then the curious thing about your index and your middle finger is that they're usually close by together. So knowing that, you should know that the second one should be landing where it's supposed to and then the other one should be closely following. The trick is get one down first, landing all the time where it's supposed to. After you get that, then get two of them to land and just keep on repeating. And then eventually you're gonna get two of them to land. After you get it down kind of fast, the next thing to do is to simply put everything off and then press it back on and then play. Off, on, play. Off, on, play. Off, on, play. Until your hand gets used to it. And that's all there really is to it. For most people, the index finger is a dominant one, but there can be cases where other fingers can be the dominant ones. So first master one thing, and then move on to the next thing, and then the next thing, and then you finally put it all together. You do the on and off method to gain that muscle memory even better. Guys, before I forget, comment down below to see how you guys mastered your instrument or your chords or your setup. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Neighbors. Also guys, before I forget, comment down below because I would like to know how you guys master a new chord or master your instrument. It's always interesting to see how other people do it and you never know, we could probably help out each other here too. That's gonna do it for today guys. Thank you for your time and I'll see you guys on the next one.